Hello children, this is your teacher McEnroe and today I will be teaching you the tenses part 3. Actually since I have told you that the topic tenses is vast so I have broken them into pieces so that you will be able to understand also. So here today I'll be teaching you the tenses part 3. So that was the assignment that I have given you last time remember for the part 2 tenses those were uh, that you were supposed to actually write the suffix forms that is s form and the second form third form and the fourth form actually that those particular words so the first one for you c and what is actually the s form for that okay so uh, those that was the assignment that i have given to you last time in that tenses part two you were supposed to actually write the forms of those words which are given. So what could be the S form or suffix forms of that particular term C? C's, okay? S-E-E-S-C's. Second form? Saw, S-A-W, saw. Third form? Seen, S-E-E-N, seen, okay? And the I-N-G form, that is the present participle, seeing. S E E I N G C. Let's move to the next one. Speak, speaks, spoke, spoken, speaking. Okay? Let me repeat that. Speaks, spoke, spoken, speaking. The next one. Throw, throws, with S over there. True, T H R E W, true. Thrown, T H R O W N, throwing, T H R O W I N G, throwing, okay. The next one, spend, the next one, read, reads, with S R E A D S, reads, and then the second form, read, okay. The sound of that one will be read, R E A D, read read reading spend spends spent spent spending sell sells sold sold selling where wears wore one wearing stand stands stood stood standing break breaks broke broken breaking make makes made made making feel feels felt felt feeling forget forgets forgot forgotten and forgetting i hope that you have done that assignment and uh, if you have missed something or if you have uh, done it incorrectly you can always uh, have a look at that which I have given to you right now the assignments the answer for that is that one which is there on your screen right now okay and remember that you have to take your mobile phone and uh, do the snapshots so that you won't miss anything here so move on to the next one that is actually the definition of present indefinite I told you in the last class that was the part two of tenses the present tense since we are dealing or we are learning present tense at the moment so I told you that uh, there are those tenses that you have to learn and understand the present tense and those four tenses which comes under present tense remember I told you last time what were they the present indefinite present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous okay so what is present indefinite the task that happens every day or routinely is known as present indefinite tense the task or the action that is being done every day by you by me by you by everyone else those tasks which are being done every day those are called present indefinite tense like I eat 
I do that. Even you do that also. You eat. What do you eat? That you know. What do I eat? That I will be knowing, right? Like I eat. I eat mango. Okay? There, the subject I is actually the singular number. Okay? I is a singular number. And eat is actually the verb, the main current word. And mango is actually the object. S plus V plus O. S plus V plus O. What is S? Subject. Okay? Here it is for you. Subject. And verb. And object. Here, subject is I. That is actually supposed to be the singular number. Okay? Singular number. Let me write it in full. Singular number. Okay? Singular number. I. Okay. So, I is doing something. That is me, obviously. I eat. That is an action that I'm doing. That I do every day. I eat. Okay? Here is the verb. I eat. And object what? Mango. I eat mango. This is actually the present indefinite. Okay? This is present indefinite that we are dealing with right now. Okay? I eat mango. It means what was the meaning of present indefinite? The task that happens every day or routinely is known as present indefinite tense. The task which I do every day. See, I eat mango. That means that's my habit. I eat mango. I had mango yesterday. I had taken mango yesterday. I had eaten mango yesterday. Today, I'm going to eat. Tomorrow, I will be eating that. Okay? So, I eat mango here. Eat is actually the verb. So, Mango is the object and subject is I, which is supposed to be the singular number. Got it? I know. It's a little bit difficult for you to understand at this moment. I know that. But don't. Don't get confused. I'm going to show you a table right now. And then you will be able to understand that what it is actually and how you have to use that. The table. Can you see the table right now? Yep, it's there on the screen at the moment. See, that is the division. Remember I told you something about the statement in the beginning? The part one, tenses. What, what is statement? The opinion, opinion or declaration of opinion, you would say. Those are called statement. It could be positive, it could be negative, it could be interrogative. What is positive? Positive means whenever you are confirmed and whenever you are assured of what you are saying, it's called positive statement. And negative statement, whenever you are not confirmed and whenever you are not assured of what you are saying, that's called negative statement. We always do that. Whenever you are talking in your language, in any language, in Hindi or any regional language, these three statesmen of our talk, of our convocation, of our communication will be there always. Okay? The positive talk, the negative one, and the integrative one. What is the integrative one? Whenever you're inquiring, whenever you're asking questions. That is called integrative statement. So there it is. For statement, there's a column there. Positive statement, negative statement, and integrative statement. And singular number with verb. That you have to understand. For positive statement, see, singular number, what are the singular numbers? He, she, okay? He or she and it, they are actually the singular number, okay? So, you have to use he, she, it for present indefinite tense. Just look at the table, okay? Properly. Try to understand what is given in the table. 
and we'll do the exercises later okay he she it plus first form of verb with the letter s plus object understood right now don't you remember that i have shown you the table the forms of table let me just like show you again the table there getting it yeah those uh, assignment that i given to you there are various tenses there are various verbs actually various words are there those are just the examples that i have given to you there are many there are plenty but they were just like uh, some example that i have given to you so that you will be able to understand that how we have to divide them and how we have to form the parts of those words okay so that's a table okay now coming to that one which was about the statement singular number with verb and singular or plural number with verb okay so he she it you will be using the first form of verb the first table actually the first word which is the main current word you will be using in the present indefinite tense okay you will be using that in the present indefinite tense we are learning present indefinite tense right now what is it the present indefinite tense okay and i think i told you the meaning of that as well the task that happens every day so don't get confused right now here look at this we are dealing with and we are learning the present indefinite tense at this moment and the table that is there on the screen is about this one the present indefinite tense okay so he she it plus first form of verb with the letter s suppose if you are using he that is the subject okay and the verb and the verb would be suppose if you are using he eat okay let me just write this for you eat okay mango in the beginning i told you i eat mango the subject the subject was i that was me okay i eat mango which means that i'm doing it every day all right now we are talking about a person who is a male a boy a man he so he eat mango now tell me is this right according to the table again i'm showing you the table okay according to the table is this sentence right he eat mango no it's wrong how i'll tell you he he has to be used there right it has to be used over there eat there it's given in the table he she it plus first form of verb this is the first form of verb eat yes but with the letter s you have to add the suffix forms he eats mango okay he eats mango all right it it will be the same for this one also she eats mango okay but whenever we talk in term of i we you and they here this one become eat it won't become eats you 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 can look at the third column i we you they plus first form of verb okay there is no s you can see that on the table again okay i v u d the verb will be just the first form and no s all right just the first form and no s so i v u d eat i eat mango or you would say we eat mango you eat mango they eat mango 
all right you cannot say i eat mango we eat mango you eat mango they eat mango that will be wrong all right so please don't make that mistake while writing or while speaking so it has to be i eat we eat you eat they eat no s no s you have to follow that table so please take out your mobile phone and take the snapshot of that table again okay that's going to help you a lot so but for singular number like he she there is always s along with the first form of verb all right this was for positive statement okay let me just write it in full positive statement and what is positive statement i am confirmed that i eat mango i am sure that he eats mango he eats every day he eats mango every day i'm sure of that okay there is nothing uh, there is, there is no denying in that one i eat that every day he eats mango every day who's going to stop him that is his habit he eats see eats mango okay so that's positive statement whenever you are sure of what you're doing okay assertive statement you are positive about that you will be doing it nobody's going to stop you it's you will be doing it okay so that was positive statement now if we move on to the negative statement negative statement okay what is negative st statement whenever you are not sure of what you're doing here what you have to do with a sentence over there they are just the same but uh, there are some slight changes in all those sentences and all that i'll tell you okay he negative what it shows over there in the table again you have to look at the table once more go to the negative statement column and just follow that singular number with verb he she it plus does plus not plus first form of verb without s and plus object okay let me tell you how he is actually the subject does it's written there he she it plus does not okay this is how you have to say and how you have to write whenever you are not sure of what you are doing not sure of what you are saying whenever you are negative about what you are saying he does not eats you have to say eat not eats this will not be there as as it is clearly given over there in the table he does not does plus not plus first form of verb this is first form of verb without s without s there is no s it is given in that table again i'm showing you that one okay so he does not eat mango okay so it will be the same for this one does not whenever we are talking in terms of he she and it he does not she does not and this won't be there s yes. okay so he does not eat mango she does not eat mango every day means like she doesn't like to eat mango he doesn't like to eat mango he doesn't do it every day he doesn't like it every day you got my point now that is present indefinite tense he doesn't do it she doesn't do it see this is what you have to say like that you sometimes you know some people used to say he don't know that he don't know okay he don't that is actually do not no this is wrong you you cannot say like this be, because this will be wrong actually so it has to be he does not because he always comes along with does and not okay he does not no he doesn't know he doesn't know me he doesn't know you okay that was just the example you got my point so here if you just move on to the 
next column, the singular plural number with verb for the negative statement, I, we, you, they, plus do, plus not, plus first form of work, plus object will be actually applied there, okay? Here, you have to use do not, not does not here, okay? For, let me just write it clearly for you so that you will understand, okay? Do not, here do not will be applied. I do not, we do not, you do not, they do not eat mango. That is correct now. Okay, if you follow the table. Okay, so that was for negative statement. I do not eat mango, we do not eat mango, you do not eat mango, they do not eat mango. You cannot write S along with all this singular and plural number. All right, okay. Move on to the next one. That is supposed to be the interrogative statement. And what is interrogative statement? The interrogative statement is actually whenever you are inquiring and asking question to someone. Okay, here it becomes interrogative statement. All right, interrogative statement. So what you have to do over here for he does not, she does not eat, I do not eat, this is how it's going to be changed. Let me show you. Uh, this will does and he. Here you have to write like this. Does he eat mango? Question mark. Because you are inquiring, you are asking question. So remember that does is always appropriate with he and she. Okay? Does will be always coming along with he and she and it also, it, it, singular number, okay? So does he eat mango? This is how you have to raise question whenever you are asking somebody, okay? Does he eat mango, okay? So the same thing will be here also for she. Does she eat mango? It'll be like this, okay? Does she eat mango? And question mark, remember, don't forget to put this, the question mark, because you are asking a question and you are inquiring as well. So here, for all this, I, we, you, they, it will become do, okay? Do, I, we, you, they. Do I eat mango? Do we eat mango? Do you eat mango? Do they eat mango? Question mark. Whenever you ask someone, and that is supposed to be the present indefinite tense. For example, if I ask you, do you eat mango? Usually, that, 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 that's, that's what it means. That was, I mean, like the thing is that whether you like it or not. That's why I'm asking question to you. Do you eat mango? Do you like to eat mango? Okay, so this is how you have to raise question. Do I eat mango? Do we eat mango? Do you eat mango? Do they eat mango? Obviously this one is not actually being used every time. Do I eat mango? Because it's about a subject who is actually talking. Do I eat mango is not uh, basically used, right? So you cannot use this. But that was just an example for you that I have given. The next part are, uh, do we eat mango? Do you eat mango? Do they eat mango? The same thing for here. Does he eat mango? Does she eat mango? I hope that you got that. Okay, now look at the table again. There are some examples given over there. Okay, he eat rice, she eat rice. Am I right? No, you have to add S with that first form of verb that is eat. Okay, below the table you will find out, right? Those examples for positive statement, he, she, plus first form of verb that is eat. You have to use S along with that eat. He eats rice or she eats rice, always in bracket, always. I mean like, she loves to eat or take rice. Okay, whenever she wants to have her meal, she'll be using that, she'll be eating that rice. So that's always, okay? The same one for this uh, singular plus plural number. I, we, you, they, and the first form of verb, eat rice. 
I eat rice, we eat rice, you eat rice, they eat rice. For negative statement, it's he, she, does not. Okay, whenever you are not sure of what you are saying, so you have to use that does not along with he, she, and it. He does not eat rice or she does not eat rice, always in bracket. That is just for you to understand, okay, why always over there? Because uh, whenever you are asking a person, okay, you exactly, the person is mentioning that, that he eats rice. She eats rice. Every day she does it. She always do it whenever she is actually having her meals. That what it is referring to. Okay. So she eats rice or he eats rice. For the negative statement, she or he does not eat rice. Same thing for the singular and plural number, I, we, you, they do not eat rice. Okay. And for interrogative statement, does he or does she eat rice with question mark and do I do we or do you do they eat rice do we eat rice do you eat rice do they eat rice okay so that was just for you to understand again I'm telling you you're having your mobile phone just take the snaps out of that table right now because it's going to be helpful for you okay and I don't want you to miss that so please take the snaps out of that with your mobile phone and then try to understand those terms which are there in the columns, the statement columns, the singular number with verb columns and the singular plus plural number with verb columns and try to understand that how you have to frame the sentences. We shall meet in the next class with the second topic that is the present continuous tense. Okay, what is that? The present continuous tense Okay, then uh, that is going to be quite interesting for you. So please do listen to me that what I'm saying to you. Keep talking, keep speaking. Whatever you do, if you really want to learn English, then you have to do this. Whoever is around you, your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, talk to them in English. And if you don't find anyone, just take your books and read them. And then you will learn a lot of things over there from your book. So that's it children. I hope that you have learned and, uh, and have understood what I have taught you today. And uh, there are some assignments. And like always I said, that you have to think in English so that you will be speaking English properly. So remember that in your mind, hashtag stay home, stay safe, God bless.